Hi everyone! In this small video I'm going to show you how to build a small, simple car in Mechanic Miner. In order to build anything in Mechanic Miner you need resources, and this is why I went down into this mine shaft, and as you can see from the bodies I fought off, had to fight off a few bats. Uh, but now I'm at the bottom of the shaft and I can see over here that there are some um, blocks of iron ore that I can harvest. So I'm going to go down here and hold the right mouse button to harvest these iron blocks. And that results in these little square blocks that are resources that uh, fall directly into my backpack. And just the last one. Now I'm going to go up. I have enough iron now to build uh, what I need. Slide off this bat here. First we're going to build a frame for the car out of wood. I have some wood here in my backpack. And if I click this icon, I choose the wood program. I can also press 1. And now I can build wood by just dragging uh, the mouse in the air like so. Okay, so now we have a nice wooden frame for the car. The next step is a boiler for the car. Uh, the boiler is not here on the quick bar, so if I press this icon here, or press E, I can go into the program directory, which has a list of all the machine, the kinds of machine parts you can build in the demo. Here is the boiler. I press escape to get out again, and now I can build a boiler using two iron resources from my backpack. I'm going to put it here. And as you see, the boiler needs fuel. So we're going to put that in right away. I have some water here in my backpack. I'll put that into the boiler, like so. And I also have a bunch of wood resources that I got from harvesting trees earlier. And now the boiler is fueled, ready to go. The next step is an engine. Again, I go into the program directory, clicking here, pressing E, and engine engine program, click that. Now, if I place the engine right here next to the boiler, you see that the game um, auto connects the two uh, with a small steam pipe. Um, that generally happens when you put um, machine parts next to each other that that sort of fit together. The game automatically connects them. You can also build pipe manually um, to connect machine parts that are farther apart. Uh, but this is just a nice convenience that's in the game. Um, before I can test the engine works, I need to be able to control it. So I will build a lever again into the program directory and click on lever and this will require two iron resources as well which i have in my backpack that's why they're, they're lit and i will place this next to the engine like so and you can see that again there's an auto connection happening this is a cable connection and not a pipe uh, so cable is used to control stuff so that um, means that the lever i built can now control the engine because they're connected with a cable uh, if I press U now, I can uh, grab onto the lever and control it. If I press left or right keys on my keyboard, you see that the engine is going. And that's working very nicely. Next step, of course, wheels. Uh, again, into the program directory. I'll take this one. It's a wooden wheel, size 3. And to put wheels on vehicles in Mechanic Mira, you uh, attach the wheel to a block you already built. That's how it works. So that's why I built the frame like this. So there is uh, this little uh, piece uh, appendage to put the wheel on. And if I click here, uh, the game automatically lifts up the machine so it doesn't build the wheel on the ground. And that's a nice convenience function. Another wheel, and the car's almost ready to go now. We just need the engine to actually drive the wheel. Uh, for that, we'll use another machine part called a belt. And we will drag from the engine down to the wheel. And now we have a car with a front wheel drive. And voila, we're going. Thanks for watching.